Hello friends, welcome to the medicine world. Hope you studied our previous lectures by heart. If you haven't seen our previous lectures, I am keeping these videos in the card to check it out and learn something new. Okay, so let's discuss today's topic dentition or say eruption of teeth or say teething in a newborn. So let's discuss dentition without wasting a second. Basically, the dentition is divided into two categories. The first one primary dentition and second one secondary dentition. Alright, so what is primary dentition? These are the first teeth to erupt in the oral cavity and these teeth are also called as deciduous teeth or say milk teeth or say temporary teeth. They appear 20 in number. So the question is which is the first teeth to appear in life? The answer will be lower central incisors, it, they appear by the age of 6 months but they differ in the range of 6 to 9 months. Ok, so to remember which teeth appears first and which teeth appears last in primary dentition, you need to remember this table. By 6 months, on an average of 6 to 9 months, the first pair of teeth that are lower central incisors appears in life. By 7 months, on average of 7 to 10 months, the upper central incisors appears. By 9 months, by 9 to 12 months, upper and lower lateral incisors appears in life. By 1 year, the first molar appears. By 18 months, the canines appears. And by 2 years, the second molar appears. But the question is how to remember this table? So, to simplify the learning, we have drawn the oral cavity with the labeling of number of teeth that appears in life that is for primary dentition in sequence. The first one, lower central incisors that appears by 6 months by the number 1 is given. Second are the upper central incisors that appears by 7 months, upper and lower incisors that appears by 9 months, first molar that appears by 1 year canines by appearance of 18 months and second molar that appears by the age of 2 years. Do remember that the upper teeth appears first with only just one exception that is lower central incisors. This lower central incisors appears first in life by 6 months and then upper teeth upper central incisors appears by the age of 7 months. Guys, do remember the exceptions as the exceptions are the only thing that appears in exams in most of the time. Now we will be studying delayed dentition. What does that mean? The normally primary dentition completes by the age of 2.5 to 3 years. But if there are no teeth by the age of 13 months, it will be called as delayed dentition. Delayed dentition happens because of many reasons but most of them are idiopathic. Now the causes of delayed dentition, there are various causes of the delayed dentition but most of them are idiopathic. Medical science yet do not know what are the causes of delayed dentition but the main causes may be hypothyroidism, hypopituitarism, rickets and congenital syphilis. These are the causes that may contribute to the delayed dentition. Now that's it for the primary dentition, now let's move on to the secondary dentition. Ok friends, so let's discuss about the secondary dentition. What does that mean? It means these are the set of 32 permanent teeth whose eruption begins from the 6th year and lasts until the 17th to 23rd year when the last wisdom teeth appears. These are called as permanent dentition because this teeth remains for the lifetime. But the question that appears first in our mind will be which will be the first permanent teeth to appear in life. The answer will be first molar that appears by the age of 6 years. So now in secondary dentition also we will be studying the sequence of the appearance of teeth by the age. Ok friends, so here we have made a table that will help us to remember the appearance of secondary dentition with the increasing age of a child. Alright friends, so medicine isn't easy, we all know. But of course we are here trying to simplify each and every important concepts for exam for you. Thus, if you liked and learned something new from us, like the video, share it and subscribe to our channel for tons of more videos every day. Your likes and subscribers literally motivates us to make it more better.
So friends, here is the diagram that shows the counting from the medial to lateral side, that is, from mid-central incisor to the last wisdom teeth, the number of teeth that are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And the age of eruption, you need to remember it as 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 6, 12, 18. You need to remember this by heart. The first one central incisors that appears by the age of 7 years, 2 lateral incisors by the age of 8 years, canines by the age of 9 years, first premolar by the age of 10 years, second premolar by the age of 11 years, and the first molar that appears by the age of 6 years. Yes, as we discussed above, a question that was which is the teeth that appears first in the secondary dentition and the answer was first molar by the age of 6 years. Yes, the first teeth that appears in the secondary dentition will be the first molar that appears by the age of 6 years. By the age of 12 years, the seventh teeth that is second molar will appear and the third molar that is wisdom teeth that appears by the age of 18 but it ranges from 18 to 23 years. Now in medical abbreviations, we will be studying this kind of plus sign with the number denoted on it. For example, here the 5 is written on the upper half. What does that mean? It means the upper fifth teeth that is second premolar of the right half needs to be checked for any disorder or pain or maybe anything else. And the second one here, the 7 is written that means the lower seventh teeth that is second molar of the left half needs to be checked. So as we discussed the primary and the secondary dentition, now we will be studying the teeth which remains absent in the primary dentition. This teeth will be first premolar, second premolar and third molar. The upper right and left lateral half and the lower right and left lateral half will make the total of 3 into 4 that are 12 teeth that will be absent in the primary dentition. Yes, this teeth will be absent in the primary dentition and thus this teeth appears only once in life after the secondary dentition. Let's differentiate it that are 32 teeth in the secondary dentition minus the 12 teeth that are absent in the primary dentition. The answer will be 20 teeth that are present in the primary dentition. Now one question may arise will be what will be the age by the appearance of 21st teeth. Now the 21st teeth can be called as the first molar of the secondary dentition. So the answer will be by the age of 6 years. Similarly if they asked what will be the age by the appearance of 23rd teeth then 23rd teeth that means the lateral incisors and this appears by the age of 8 years. So answer will be 8 years. Alright friends, that's it for the today's lecture. But wait wait, I am providing you some important questions and you must be solving it for the surety. In the next lecture, we will be studying the bone age in a newborn, x-ray of shoulder joint, hand joint, wrist joint, elbow joint and many more. Till then, keep studying, keep learning and see you in the next lecture.